In this tutorial, we'll see how we can make a carousel or a slider using React Swipeable Views. Okay, so let's get into it. So we are using the React Swipeable Views library for this. Uh, you can uh, download it from Yarn or NPM by using Yarn Add or NPM install. Um, this library lets us make a carousel or a image slideshow or anything uh, pretty easily. As you can see, um, this is just um, the portion that is being used for rendering the uh, slideshow or carousel. And uh, there are a lot of customization you can also do with it. Like you can um, auto play the slides uh, after a certain delay. So the slides will move forward or backward after a certain delay, which you will specify. You know, the user won't do anything. Or you can, um, you know, also move the slides using your fingers if you're using a, a touch screen a mobile or you know touch laptop and also you can use your mouse to um, move the slides as well based on the props you set which we will see in a bit so first of all um this is the component uh, swipeable views and uh, i have given it a style um, to the container which is um, a height of 400 pixel and a width of 400 pixel. So this box and all these slides have um, a height width, uh, width the, which is the same as the container and some other styles as well. So um, I am using here a dynamic uh, array. Uh, normally you would have some data, some maybe static data or some data coming from the backend, which you will map here. But right now I'm just, you know, map, so mapping some random data and here I am using a function to map an array of 200 colors, which I will basically, you know, set the background of the slides to, which I'm showing. So it's, if I remove this portion, anything I place inside swipeable views component as a children will be the slide. So I can say slide number one, let me give it a background of red, let's say, let me put another slide blue let me call it slide number two so right now i've um yeah let me give it a style which i was giving the previous slide so let me do this yeah you can see that <coughs> right off two slides <coughs> um i uh, first um div which says serving as the first slide and the second div which is serving as the second slide and that has the color of blue um by default you if there is a touch screen or you're using a mobile you can use your fingers to swipe the slides but right now uh, this is a laptop so i can't do that so uh, i will have to use another prop to enable um mouse events so basically so that i can do the uh, the so that i can move the slides to and fro using the mouse so that prop is enable mouse events so now i can go to and fro basically using the mouse so this is one prop <coughs> now another prop is disabled so if you want to disable um touch events as well so if you want that the slides don't move when you use your fingers etc on a touch screen then you can use the disabled prop and then it won't work with uh, hands as well with touch as well and uh, by default enable mouse events is false so if you you know ex exclude it then basically you cannot move the slides as at all so but you can move them programmatically using two props so one prop is um, index so index is basically the uh, slide which you want to show so if i type in one then this would be the slide which would show the blue one and you know now i cannot move anything if i use zero then the first slide would show and so on you get the idea so i can basically make a state uh, of index and then basically i can you know place uh, some arrow buttons or something which i then clicked would you know um, change the state so let's do it so let me first make a flex container Uh, where I will place the button and the swipeable views component. So let me place it in the middle 
here I would say icon button and then I will use the icon and there will be an on click which I will place right now and let me give it a color let me copy it and let me paste it here um flex cap of four and align items center yeah so now you can see uh there is a slideshow uh, or a swipeable views component in between and two icons cool so um now i have to hook up state so i can you say cause index set index is equal to u state zero um when i would click here i would set it to index minus one and when i would click this button i would set it to index plus one yeah cool so now you can see that i am let me refresh oh let me pass the index here yeah so now you can see that when i am using these arrow icons i'm modifying the state and hence i'm controlling the behavior of the uh, slideshow without using any touch events or mouse events so that's a helpful thing as well if you want to change the slides programmatically uh, now um the swappable use component also has some other functionalities as well um, by default uh, this is the functionality which the, the swappable use component provides but uh, you can use some um, higher order components which uh, are provided by uh, Rex Swappable Views to enhance the capability of this component. So these are the three um, uh, uh, higher order components that uh, Rex Swappable Views provides. So the first one is Bind Keyboard. So Bind Keyboard would basically allow the movement of slides via keyboard. So I can use the arrow keys to move the slides to and fro as well, which right now doesn't happen right now it is either the mouse or that uh, it is based on the mouse events or touch events based on you know what props are enabled but i can also enable the um, keyboard events as well using this higher order function which we'll see in a bit autoplay basically al allows auto playing of slides so in a lot of websites you see that there is a carousel and the slides are going on by themselves um, after a certain delay so you can achieve that using the autoplay higher order component and then virtualize virtualize is basically virtualize enables virtualization so if you have a carousel with you know let's say a thousand slides or ten thousand slides you don't want you wouldn't want to basically render all the slides um, on the ui uh, at a time you know you would want to enable virtualization and virtualization is a concept where a certain set of you know array items are shown or rendered in the ui and when you are moving to and fro in this case a carousel etc when you are moving uh, forward let's say based on the movement of um, you know if i'm going forward based on the movement the virtualization uh, uh, logic whatever uh, it is uh, applied in this case would calculate the number of slides which should be rendered forward based on the current slide so if i have let's say 10000 slides uh, in normal circumstances maybe only 10 slides would be rendered and the, then based on the num uh, selection of slide i am making the next 10 slides would render and the next 10 slides would render etc so it enhances performance so um, let's see how it works so uh, let me say const swipeable views keyboard is equal to bind keyboard and swipeable views cool so let me place it here so now i can um let me remove this state because it won't happen without it or i can pass up callback so then it would um index set index 
so that you know I can move it um, with uh, using my uh, events and other stuff as well so now this component binds keyboard events as well so now I am you can see that I'm not clicking the buttons and I'm also not moving the mouse and I'm also not you know touching it with my fingers but I can still uh, move the slides and this is because I'm using the um, uh, arrow keys on my keyboard so basically it enables um, keyboard events cool um, the next is autoplay so I can say autoplay is equal to autoplay and let me paste it here so what this does is that you can see that I'm not clicking any button but it is uh, auto playing on its own uh, the slides so um, the autoplay higher order component adds three props three new props to it as well one prop is uh, uh, enables the autoplay whether you want to it or not that's um, you know optional uh, no need to touch it because obviously when you're using the autoplay higher order component you want to autoplay it so it doesn't make sense but there are other two props as well which control the behavior of auto playing so one is the direction so what do we want do we want the direction to be incremental or decremental so basically do we want the slides to move forward or backward let me paste another slide as well so that we can see the behavior clearly so i can say slide number three and let me by default obviously it is incremental so let me not or, or i can incremental cool so now you can see that the slide one comes then the slide two comes and then after a certain delay slide three shows so basically it is going in forward direction uh, it is basically in incremental direction but we have also got decremental direction so now you would see uh, no the spellings are wrong i guess okay so now you can see that slide number one and after a certain delay slide number three shows and then now after a certain delay slide number two will show so basically this is controlling the direction of auto playing so you can change that and then there is another prop which is interval so right now there is a certain interval which i do not remember what but you can change it so the interval will be the number of milliseconds so if i type in 500 then you can see that the slides are changing pretty quickly because it's half a second I can also do let's say 2000 milliseconds so that is two seconds so after roughly two seconds the slides will move so these two props are added uh, as well yeah so now let's use the virtualization thing so now we will uh, see virtualization in action and swappable views uh the, the, this virtualize um a higher order component basically makes some changes in this component so now you don't have to basically pass the slides as a children uh, it doesn't expect any children so now it expects two props slide count so slide count is basically the amount of slides you want to render let's say i say ten thousand, and then the slide renderer so the slide renderer is a function which expects as a param the index and a key which will pass in the um, uh, whatever component we are retur returning because it's an uh, it's basically an array being rendered so you would want to pass a key so i can say div slide number index plus one so this is basically a function which will be used to make the 10,000 slides um, and let me pass the key as well and let me give it a color as well so style is equal to um, get what is the function yeah get slide styles and let me use the array to make the to show the colors yeah let me refresh it so now you can see that um let me inspect it 
and if I inspect it you can see that this is the, okay so this is the container no this is not the container this is the slide so right now only three slides are are being rendered on the UI even though I am saying that I should render 10,000 slides it is only showing three slides so basically this is virtualization and effect as I move forward now I moved forward you can see that it rendered four slides I moved forward again now it rendered uh, another slide as well so based on the uh, position I am in uh, uh, you know if there are 10,000 slides maybe on, I am on the 200 slide etc so the um, based on the action which I will take you know maybe I will go in the forward direction backward direction the virtualization algorithm will predict or calculate the slides which it should render but it won't render all the slides so if I'm on slide 3 right now you can see that it is still showing slide 1 and slide 2 and slide 4 and slide 5 because I can go forward backward anytime and I would maybe you know want the slide 4 and slide 5 um, uh, quickly so these are uh, have been rendered um, all already but um, the slide let's say 9000 hasn't been rendered right now because pretty sure I won't need it right away it would take a time for me to get there so this is the virtualization effect and you can you know enable virtualization as well also last prop which I forgot is um, axis so axis basically tells us uh, on which axis should the slides move so right now it's X so basically they are moving in the X direction that is the horizontal direction but I can also change it to Y so now you can see that when I click on the arrow now the slides are moving in the vertical direction so you can change that as well and X reverse and Y reverse would basically reverse the direction in the horizontal and vertical uh, axis so this was the extrapable views pretty simple component and you can make many robust uh, carousels image slideshows in your websites and it has a very good API as well so if you have any question regarding this or react or anything in general the javascript language etc you can comment down below also like and subscribe and watch also watch the other videos as well and i'll see you in the next one bye